Hello everyone. In the previous video, I had shared some tips on how to level up from the standard 10th to the standard 10 plus 2. And in this video, I'm going to share some tips specifically for physics, some study tips for physics. Please note that I'm not going to share anything specific for JE preparation, nor am I going to discuss any list of books, although I may mention one or two books uh, here and there, but this will be a general discussion on how to study physics because in my opinion if you study physics uh, fundamentally in a very proper way then automatically your preparation for boards and the fundamental basic level preparation for any kind of competitive examination gets completed and then you can level up higher and higher for the competitive examinations so without further ado let us get into the tips the first step is that uh, when you are first entering the 10 plus 2 level, you must make out, make an, an all-out effort, a very conscious all-out effort to unlearn, to forget everything that you have studied up to for in physics or physics related things up to class 10. I'm not trying to be facetious here. I'm not trying to joke here. I'm absolutely serious. You have to unlearn and completely forget everything that you have studied up to 10 because most of the things which are studied in the name of physics up to class 10 are very toy level things the the way that you have to go about learning physics is to have a completely blank open mind a blank slate only then you'll be able to learn the things as they should be learned this is very very important at the beginning the next step is that you should not have any misconceptions regarding the difficulty level of physics. I, uh, just like as I mentioned in my previous video, I am not trying to scare anybody, but it is the stark truth. Among all the three subjects, physics, chemistry and mathematics, physics is the subject which requires the deepest level of thinking and the greatest effort is required in understanding physics. I'm not saying that mathematics and chemistry is easy to understand, but among the three subjects, it is it takes the most amount of effort to understand something properly, really properly in physics. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Oh, it is very easy. You can everyone can do it. No, it is not like that. Yes, everyone can do it, provided they attempt it in a proper way. And even then, I would say, and even and and maybe it sounds a little bit rude. Everything is not meant for everybody. Okay, maybe you have some special talent elsewhere, but it does not necessarily mean that everyone will be able to do proficiently well in physics. So you have to be absolutely honest with yourself also. So uh, it is really possible that to understand even one concept in physics, you have to sit with one page without even proceeding from further than one page over the course of one day. It is possible and there is nothing disheartening in that. The best of minds have to grapple with physics in this kind of a way. So you can only do this, this kind of study only if you're very honest with yourself. Not everybody can do this. So this is my second and very important tip. Please do not forget that what is supposed to be hard, you have to make a really hard effort to understand it also. The next tip is that uh, although there is a huge amount, a, a plenty of amount, uh, plenty of uh, books available for uh, in the form of guidebooks for studying physics, my suggestion is that it is best to actually learn from one good book. You don't need many good books. This is one mistake which I made myself because back in our day we did not have too many guidebooks. Uh, there was nothing so I, 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 did, I cannot say that I did not have the bad habit of studying from guidebooks because it was not there in the first place. Most of the things were, were in the form of advanced level books. I tried to study from this and that. But it is now that I have the benefit of hindsight, I have more experience. I have seen many other things, many other students also. Uh, I can tell for a fact that at least when you are first starting out, it is not a good advice to uh, study from different different books at the same time it is good to refer to different books and after you have first grasped the concept so first take up a good book and this is where i will make the mention of one of my favorite books ever 
this is concepts of physics by professor hc verma of iit kanpur so i still have the books in my in my office here i always keep them beside me it's like a sort of motivation inspiration so this is the plus 2 level book uh, i hope you can see it and this is the this is the class 11 book i spent so many hours going through these books i struggled so much through them uh, this brings back uh, strange kind of memories because Uh, not every memory associated with this book is is a happy one is a pleasureful one i had to struggle such a lot to go through this books so it's a really good book because uh, it does not compromise with the concepts it does not make it uh, does does not water it down uh, and the problems are also graded in difficulty so this is one of my favorite books and uh, i have actually I was just before recording this video. I was going through the books, and I could see that in most of the chapters, I have actually take mark many of the problems that I went through to build up my concepts. So pick up such a good book and study from it. I emphasize this especially because uh, I have noticed that uh, in the current generations, many students do not have the habit. of studying from textbooks it is especially important for a subject like physics because most of you god willing will be able to uh, come to some kind of an engineering discipline and most of engineering is just applied physics so if you do not develop the habit of studying physics properly at the 10 plus 2 level which is the 0th level of of your entire physics career or applied physics career or engineering career Uh, if you do not develop this habit of studying properly from a phys from a physics textbook, and instead you just keep on relying on the guide books kind of things, then it creates a very bad habit. And ultimately, don't forget that all this competitive examination preparation and everything is geared towards finally making you arrive at a university or an institute. This is the zeroth level actually. So your game actually starts when you arrive at this institute, where you arrive at a certain university for your bachelor's level study. At that point, there will be no guide books; there will be only textbooks and your college lecturers, uh, your professors' notes. But that's all there is to it. So unless you have developed the habit of studying from textbooks, where will you be? So think about this also. Uh, the next is regarding making notes. so in an earlier video i had mentioned that uh, you should develop the habit of making your own notes but there is a subtlety here and i uh, owe this point to a recent article i read uh, from a newsletter shared by uh, mr scott h young um, he is uh, the author of the book ultra learning and he has given examples through his own life of accomplishing tremendous feats of learning uh, so he managed to self study the mit computer science course uh, in the in a record uh, breaking time uh, so he knows what he is talking about and the step is that you should make your notes only after you have tried to solve some problems just after studying the theory if you try to make notes that is not the correct way and when i look back at my own experience also although i did not realize that i was doing this thing and this is this is actually what i had done so i did not make any notes initially but only after i had started solving the problems and i started gaining some kind of an experience in the kinds of wrong directions i was uh, probably thinking in the kinds of new insights that i was finding and the kind of special lessons that were tailor made for myself for my own brain that i was able to figure out that i started taking down some notes which were specifically for me nobody else would have probably benefited from those notes so try to do something which is tailor made for yourself uh, but after you have started solving the problems especially the harder level problems uh, the next point the next step is regarding the problems themselves after you have studied the theory my suggestion is that you should not neglect the thinking type of questions which are given in the textbooks here in uh, in the concepts of physics by uh, hc professor hc verma these kinds of questions are there i used to go through them uh, in another book uh, which i used to follow also by uh, resnick halliday and walker uh, fundamentals of physics a uh, very popular book during our time i don't know if students are following it nowadays or not uh, there used to be some questions in the middle of the chapter itself 
regarding uh, like set as milestones to check your conceptual understanding and those questions used to be extremely important uh, for uh, for even the uh, the IITJ screening level uh, questions the objective type of questions as it was back then because our IITJ mains was a completely subjective type of questions but that's a different story altogether let's not get into that uh, so as I was saying uh, those kinds of conceptual questions will always be there in every good textbook you must make an all-out effort to go through them in a very honest fashion if you find that you are not able to answer something correctly it is your holy duty to go back to the theory learn learn and relearn and rethink about why why and where you went wrong unless you have done this practice unless you have done this exercise you should not go to actually solving the actual uh, the numerical problems uh, so after that after this stage of course you have to go into the numerical problems and you have to start from the very basic and uh, if it is a good textbook usually it will be given in in gradations of difficulty you must start with the very basic ones some of these questions are so very easy that they will probably not even come in the board exams but even then i can tell you from my own experience that i made an all out effort to solve some of these very very extremely easy questions because it used to be a tremendous confidence booster plus it told me that i was not kind of deluding myself into thinking that i had understood the concepts rather i had really really understood the concepts only then i used to go into the harder level problems so i think this is a good honest way of going about uh, studying uh, physics uh, plus you also uh, remember that if you're making a really honest effort at studying physics in these kinds of ways it is going to be a time consuming process okay now when it is a time consuming process and you are starting to solve the problems and you are seeing that many of your friends are going ahead uh, much ahead of you you probably think oh i'm falling behind then what should i do then one strategy which people do is they look at the questions then without solving them they look at the solutions maybe they'll try a little bit for uh, maybe one minute or two minute and if they can't do it and they'll immediately look at the solutions and then proceed thinking that okay since i have looked at the solution since i have somehow understood the solution i have understood uh, how to solve this problem this is a myth okay you have to actually struggle with a problem for a considerable amount of time maybe even for half an hour maybe one hour if you think that this is a challenging enough problem involving multiple concepts at the same time you must make an all out effort to solve it on your own uh, Fin exhaust all different ways that you can possibly think of of tackling the problem only after you have completely exhausted and you are like gasping for breath so that that thirst for the solution should be like that gasp for breath which a person feels if he's if he has submerged his head in water so that kind of a feeling when it comes only then look at the solution otherwise it is not going to help you and because this is such a time consuming process it is possible that you may not be able to complete all the problems so what no problem okay if you are not able to complete all the problems no problem whatever you are whatever you have managed to do on your own that will be a true true achievement that will be the basis of a proper learning so when you go to do higher problems that kind of a of an ability to or that that the, the the development of that ability to solve problems on your own that will stand you in good stead rather than this very bad habit of just looking at the solutions and thinking oh i have understood it i have, it's uh, this chapter is done for me no it is not done for you you have not understood anything you have not developed the adequate problem solving ability that is required for that chapter so please remember this also if it is if it feels like others are going ahead of you let them go don't care about others you just think about your own and the development of your own abilities uh, your own problem solving abilities and your own concepts finally a slightly uh, different kind of tip uh, but which i have i'm telling from my own experience was that because physics is so very challenging some of the good students what happens is that uh, they take it up as such a grand challenge that they neglect their other studies so studying at the 10 plus 2 level some, somehow boils down to just studying physics this is completely wrong this is a mistake that i made myself in my especially in my uh, class 11 
which is why my chemistry suffered tremendously. I was reasonably okay in mathematics, uh, but in chemistry it suffered such a lot. I mean, uh, my 11th uh, examination, even the college level examination was a disaster. Like if, if I had one examination which was a disaster in my entire life, it was that examination. So that was a massive mistake. So you should not neglect other subjects, especially chemistry, uh, which has a very fast syllabus uh, and we'll discuss about chemistry in a separate video. Uh, so please do not do this. At the cost of studying and delving into physics, you should not neglect the other uh, subjects. All right. So this is all about physics. I'm sure you will have some uh, special tips and tricks and uh, good study habits uh, to share. If you do so, please share them in the comments. Thank you very much and all the very best to you in your journey of learning physics in a proper fundamental way. Bye.